Hello, Internet people! I am Meteor Bolt, and this is episode 23 of my Let's Play series on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I've already beaten the game, and I'm going through the levels, the worlds, one by one. 100%ing them. I've already done almost all of the first two worlds. I'm going to go back to using Mario right now, because I just prefer Mario. It just feels right when I'm Mario. Anyway, uh, I think there's one thing left in the world two that I haven't done, and it's one of the flagpoles. No, it's it's uh, one of the purple coins in this flying battleship. I had a feeling when I walked past it earlier that I was missing something. I love these battleship levels because they're so... They, they remind me of Super Mario Bros. 3 so much. And these firework guys are awesome. I like how they can watch the fireworks while I'm holding them. Make them much more useful than dangerous, though. Which is fine. I don't remember if I noticed before that they were clearing... Clearing away all these clouds. I feel like I have to have noticed that. I don't really remember it. So I'm missing a purple 10 coin in the final third of the level. This is clearly the second one. So now that I've seen the second one, that means the third one could be anywhere after this point. Probably somewhere where I have to clear some clouds out of the way. Oh, I may not have to get that. Normally the Wonder Flower makes some of the rest of the level harder. But it doesn't usually help you collect things. That would otherwise be hidden. I know where it is. It's right here inside this pipe. I'm gonna have to self-destruct. Let's see. If I say restart course, I don't think that takes me back to the... Uh, checkpoint. I gotta do oh, no. 
Let's take out that second pusher guy. Um, he's some version of charging Chuck, but instead of charging, he pushes things. Take him out, and then push this all the way into the pit so I can use it to enter this pipe. You have to be standing level with the pipes to enter them when they're pointed sideways. And that's it, so I just gotta get to the end of this section. Nice of them to shortcut me right to this so I don't have to come out and then immediately go in the pipe to enter here. Huh. Thought I counted five. They ate six of those blocks. Alright, I don't think it's gonna announce that I 100%ed this world. gonna walk to the end of the world if there's any world if any any levels left a hundred percent in petal Isles in between fluff pup fluff peaks and shining falls <coughs> I'll run into them right here uh I wish I knew how to jump right to the course I'm on. Wait a minute. There's something missing in between. Wait. Well, the way it organizes these is weird, so... Is there a way to jump in the summary to this course? not mean to play the course. Yep. All right, well, okay, there it is. We were race swimming. It's 100%ed and dolphin kick one. Oh, I didn't realize I had missed that. Better go back and do that. How did I not see that? Here we go. It's because I hadn't been looking through the actual world summary for these badge, for these, uh, Okay, so the deal here is I gotta be fast. So surprised that I caught up to you? You're not that fast. Is there a third one or is the third one somewhere else? I hope it's somewhere else. Oh, no, there is a third one. And it got away from me. All 
I'm gonna have to use the joystick here. Something about using the D-pad is hard on my hand in this course. take a more direct route than he does. Yeah, so you thought. They actually made that relatively difficult. make sure that we didn't miss anything. Muncher Fields is way over there. The only stuff we're missing is way up ahead. Oh, Dolphin Kick 2 has one has a purple coin apparently that I'm missing. I like the dolphin kick, but it seems, it almost seems unfair. Seeing that it's so much faster than and easier than regular swimming, and it breaks blocks. Two, I remember badly overthinking how to get that first one in this course. Take a minute here if you want. Is that a minute, he says? Fun little Easter eggs in this game. Oh, this one was barely hidden. Well, I did already get the flagpole, so I'm not worried about that. This one is totally unseen. Downpour, uproar. Ah, can I swim up the waterfall? Like, what game was that that you could do that in? Was it Super Mario Brothers 3? Hi, what the beans? They're like, they're like Koopas, but they're actually turtles. See the ocean taste 
Ah, tastes like tears. That's like a reference to Super Mario RPG. When Booster sees Princess Peach crying, he tastes her tears and says it tastes like the ocean. Wait a minute. How do I get it to go down this hill? be a different way other than using the dolphin kick. Right? Splish Flash? What does that mean? Splish Flash. means let's have some fun. nothing. Why did I... Why did I think it was something when I knew it was nothing? No? Hidden blocks? Alright. There seem to be quite a few hidden blocks in this game. Some of which are visible in certain characters. What's going on here? Can I go this way? I guess those music blocks are just so I can get a running jump into the waterfall here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's that rule again. About how to enter sideways pipes. I heart coins. How about you? Eh, the coins are alright. Kind of fun seeing those spiny guys, but uh. Wish there was more to do with them. I'm still looking for a wonder flower here. Is it over here? I feel like it's at the end of this trail. Oh, no, but something worthwhile was. Yes. I thought that was going to be the flagpole. I actually have to go up here to avoid the current. Hmm. Where's my wonder seed? I mean flower. Oh! I didn't expect to shoot up into the sky. Oh, uh, it's this weird floating in midair mechanic again. I 
I like the storm stuff. They put tempting things around so they move around into more dangerous places. Uh, I thought I would be able to defeat the storm cloud things with invincibility. Must have more inv invincibility. <laughs> nope. Teleported me back here instead of dropping me all that distance. the flagpole. Um, oh no! This is an easy jump here. Ooh, that's a long way down. And Mario looks really uncomfortable doing that as an elephant with a bunch of water in his trunk. Okay, that's done. Oh, I just noticed the level turned blue. I wonder if that's because I 100%ed it. See, this level is not 100%ed. I wonder if I can tell. No, it's... I guess it just turns blue when it's completed. Did you know you can customize the controls for dashing and ground pounding? Hmm. That's interesting. All right, I guess we're going to World 3. Hopefully we'll be able to find a secret path. Shining Falls. Do you think that Master Poplin is doing well and still going poof? I wonder... Speaking of which, you can also go poof like him if you put on the invisibility badge, right? <laughs> if you want an interesting challenge, put on the invisibility badge and test your skills on different courses. Oh, right. That is an interesting challenge. To not be able to see yourself. Although actually it probably isn't that difficult, depending on how well the camera follows you around. All right, how many wonder seeds you have for sale? None. All right, that's fine. Buy a couple of standees. Ooh, crouching Mario. I just remember, I just realized these standees really remind me of Paper Mario. Wow, I'm almost maxed out on flower coins. I better spend some more. Didn't realize I was getting so many flower coins. All right, that's it. That's it for now. All right, we only have 13 wonder seeds in this course, so this world. The Hoppy Cat Trial. Hop, hop, and away. Okay, what is a hoppy cat? Oh, I bet it. I bet it's one of those enemies that jumps when I do. Yeah, like that. Okay. What? How was that not a secret? Somebody tell me. It looked so much like where you would put a secret. Ah, 
I noticed. Why are the blocks different? Here. Huh. Ooh. Barely missed that one. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, yes. Quite fun. They have spiky heads that can break blocks. That's probably good to know. Like in this case. Here we are once again in the clouds. I just noticed in the Mario movie, Mario never goes to the clouds. He goes to Rainbow Road, but he doesn't spend any time in the clouds. That's weird. This seemed like the sort of place there would be something. Huh. Whoa, what? Okay. Duly noted. Hit it again. If I hit it at the same time, he does. Can I knock him out? No. He's invulnerable. Uh-oh. Shoot! That was bad timing. Just when the guy said timing is key. Mario! We gotta, we gotta look good for the talking flowers, okay? If not for your own sake, do it for his sake. out better, apparently. Timing is key. Come on. We don't need talking flowers to tell us timing is key. Timing is always key. Flappy bottoms that catch the air as they go What's down. Going on? Whoa! I know, it's kind of freaky, isn't it? Kind of unnecessarily freaky. I needed to hold the jump button to get a higher jump. Bye bye. I don't know why I let go of the jump button. That was silly. Now I have to do the whole course again just to hit the flagpole right. Come on, I unlocked the secret thing. I'm glad to see you continue your training. You never know what new things you may learn. 
So many spiky spikes, yet so little fear. You possess great courage. Poof! Yes, Mario does possess great courage. That is basically his best trait. It's also Link's best trait. And the best trait of pretty much all the other Nintendo heroes. Courage and tenacity. Also, Mario doesn't judge people. He's a very inclusive type of fellow. Okay, well, I'm going to have to call this video here, so uh, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, uh, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future videos. I'll be releasing two of these videos every Friday afternoon for the foreseeable future, probably until I 100% this game. It's not that hard so far. Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, also, check me out on Twitch. You'll be able to see a link to my Twitch channel in the description of this video. Meteor Bolt has struck. <laughs>